Hello game devs, this is the first part, a getting started video for Unreal Engine 4 and C++ programming. We will start with Unreal Engine 4.17 because there is a bug in 4.18 with Visual Studio 2017 that is fixed in 4.19, so we will switch to the latest version when it is released. So let's get started here with a new project and perhaps you wonder why I create a Blueprints project and not C++. Well, I would like to point out in this tutorial that C++ and Blueprints can and should be combined. The goal should always be to use the technology that best suits your problem. Ok, having that said, I created this new project with a top-down template and when you start it you can see you can move around your character by clicking a point. Very basic stuff. Before we add our first C++ class, Let's set up our programming environment, in my case I move to Platforms, Windows in the project settings and select Visual Studio 2017. Ok, now we can go ahead and right click in the content browser and select New C++ class. Now a dialog is popping up and asking us which base class we want to use. There is a character or pawn, which are actors in your game that can be controlled either by the user input or by AI. Then there are components to which I will come back in a later part, but the base class for objects that can be added to levels in Unreal Engine is an actor. And this is the class we will use here and we keep the default name MyActor and as you can see here it will be created in a separate source folder. Then I press the button create class, it will be created and compiled and Visual Studio is opened. But what is opened is not Visual Studio 2017, it is 2015 and perhaps you also run into this so let me show you how to fix this. Switch to the projects folder then right click the U project file and select generate Visual Studio files. Then open Visual Studio solution with Visual Studio 2017 and save the project. After that go back to the Unreal Engine editor and find your class MyActor in the C++ classes. Then drag the My Actor into the level and it will be added but you can only see it in the world outliner. This is because the actor doesn't have a scene component attached, I will come back to this in the next part. But keep in mind that in order to let your new actor participate in your game you have to add it to the level. And also the C++ code that we are going to write now is only executed if you add the actor like this. Ok, now let's double click and open it and the correct Visual Studio will be opened with the CPP file of my actor. Here you can see the constructor of the class that is called when the actor is created. And here we have the variable b can ever tick and it is set to true so that the tick method of the actor is called for every frame. We also have the begin play method. This is executed when the game starts or when the actor is spawned, ok, perhaps you will spawn him dynamically. So let's go ahead and write our first C++ code in this method and this will be to lock out a text. To do this we use the macro ue underscore lock. The first parameter is the lock category. There are predefined categories like lock temp or lock actor. These can be used later in the log output window. I will use log actor here. The next parameter is the verbosity like log, warning or error. This can also be filtered in the output log window and produces outputs in different colors. Error for example is locked in red. For the log text we use the macro text which turns your locked string into unicode. Ok, then go back to the Unreal Engine editor and press compile and then start the game when it is compiled. 
but you don't see the log output. We have to open the output log here in Windows, Developer Tools, Output Log. And here you can see the logged string. It's yellow because we logged it as warning. The log output can be filtered by category. Or here on the left side by the verbosity level messages, warnings or errors. Ok, but what we logged now is a static text. In most cases you want to log more information like the name of the actor for example. This can be done by using placeholders in the text macro like percent %s. Percent %s is for strings, I will show you other placeholders in a moment. And then we can use the getName method to get the name of the actor, which will be put to the position of the placeholder. Important is when logging strings, proceed the string with an asterisk to get a pointer to the text that the text macro needs. I will explain this in more detail, for now just don't forget to do this. Ok, then again compile and start. And here's our output. You can also log out numbers of type integer or float. But then you have to use other placeholders. For integer use percent %d and for float percent %f. I defined a variable here called number. The type is integer and I append it to the log output like this. This time I will use error instead of warning for the verbosity. And when I compile and start, you can see that the log output has a red color. The last thing that I want to show you in this introduction is to build your own string of type fstring, a data type of the Unreal Engine library. The fstring has a method which is called printf to create a string using the same placeholder concept. So I again combine the name of the actor and this integer number to a new variable called as text of type fstring. Then you can go ahead and use the new fstring variable, for example again for the log macro or wherever you want. Ok guys, this was the first part of getting you started with Unreal Engine and C++. In the next one we will solve a particular game related problem with C++. Just stay tuned and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already to not miss the next tutorial. Thanks for watching this and thanks for your support and see you soon here on JNM.